Hi, all my crafty friends. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Now it's time for me to get back on track and start uploading more videos. Today I am making these adorable farmhouse salt and pepper shakers with Christmas tags and greenery. I picked up a set of salt and pepper shakers and a butter dish from Dollar Tree on my weekly trip. The black tags I had on hand were a little too large, so I took a smaller tag and traced it so I could cut them down. I used antiquing wax and stained four 16 millimeter beads for the feet and set them to the side to dry. I used black chalk paint and painted the butter dish. I painted both the top and the bottom of the butter dish. I used my hot air gun to dry the paint a little quicker. I then glued the four beads to the bottom of the butter dish. You don't have to do this, I just wanted it to sit up a little higher. I had already taken the salt and pepper shakers outside and spray painted them with white chalk paint. I used a dry brush method and black chalk paint to distress the shakers and make them look old. I applied Mod Podge on the butter dish and the shakers and used my hot air gun again to dry them. I got this hot air gun recently and I love it. It speeds up the drying time on my projects so much. I'll leave a link in the description for the hot air gun I use and recommend. To decorate the shakers, I used the black tags I had cut down and applied the vinyl. I'll leave a link to this in the description also. It cost less than $20. I didn't like the white strings that came with the black tags, so I removed them and replaced them with twine and tied them to each of the shakers. At first I was going to use some fresh rosemary out of my little herb garden. I cut the rosemary and placed it inside of the shakers. I love the smell of rosemary. It reminds me of a Christmas tree. I decided to decorate the shakers with some Christmas sprigs I had gotten from Dollar Tree instead. They don't smell as good, but they look more like Christmas. I took two sprigs apart and began putting them in the shakers until I was happy with the way they looked. I also used some smaller pine cones off of some other sprigs I have already used. I hot glued these to the front of the pine needles. I think they turned out pretty stinking cute. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I upload weekly DIY home decor videos and you know you don't want to miss out on any of them. To be notified when I upload a video, hit the bell notification. Merry Christmas! And as always, thanks for watching.